Incision. Surgery begins with a self-sealing incision. In this case, a limbo-corneal incision. Using a crescent knife for 3.2 millimeters width, a perpendicular pre-cut is made at the limbus, followed by preparation of a corneal tunnel, and then entering the anterior chamber. Injection of viscoelastic. A viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber to avoid chamber collapse during surgical manipulation. Paracentesis. Two further small incisions are made to allow the insertion of other instruments. Capsularexis. The anterior capsule is opened with a bent needle which is inserted through one incision. Capsularexis starts with a central puncture followed by a radial cut. The capsular flap is pulled and lifted at its edge. The flap is then inverted and the rexis torn circularly until completed. Hydrodissection. Fluid is injected into the cortical layer of the lens under the lens capsule. As the fluid is injected a fluid wave is created that separates lens nucleus and cortex from the capsule. This nucleus is now mobile and can be easily rotated during the next step of surgery. Phaco emulsification. A spatula and the phaco tip are inserted through the incisions. The phaco tip starts the downslope sculpting. As downslope sculpting proceeds, a deep trench is created in the center of the nucleus. The instrument tips move deep into the trench and the lens is cracked. The cracked lens is then rotated and cracked again until four quadrants are left. The quadrants are then emulsified and aspirated one after the other. Care must be taken not to puncture the thin posterior lens capsule, since that could result in a prolapse of vitreous. Aspiration of cortical remnants. Using the irrigation aspiration tip, residual fragments of lens cortex are aspirated from the capsule. Injection of viscoelastic. Once again, a viscoelastic substance is injected to fill the capsule bag for implantation of the IOL, the intraocular lens. Enlargement of incision. The incision is slightly enlarged to about 3.5 millimeters to facilitate implantation of the IOL.
IOL folding. The IOL is folded before implantation. This allows implantation through a small incision. IOL implantation. The folded IOL is inserted through the incision. The haptics of the IOL are positioned in the capsule bag and the lens is slowly unfolded. The optic of the IOL is also pushed into the bag. Aspiration of viscoelastic. Using the irrigation aspiration tip, the viscoelastic substance is finally removed as well as residual lens fragments, leaving the IOL within the capsule bag. The incisions are self-sealing so that no sutures are necessary.